Hey everyone, my name is Benji and this is my mini synth series where I talk about learning electronics and PCB design by building synthesizer modules. Recently, I took apart my bigger synth, the one with non-standard panel sizes, and along with it went my 12-channel mixer. The panels I used back then weren't Eurorack sized so it wouldn't fit my new case. I still needed a mixer so I decided to build a new smaller one instead. The circuit I used for this one was straight out of Dofer's mixer examples. I tested it out on perf board and used 3D printed panels. To design this, I used my Euro Panel Maker library which I talked about in my last video. For this build, I wanted to use slide pots. I've never designed with them before so this felt like the perfect opportunity. It's nice to have faders to control volume. Because of the type of slide pots I used, the module had to be 10 HP wide. I probably should have used smaller ones, but this works great for performances. For this build, I did a 6 channel mixer for the prototype, but I decided to downgrade it to a 4 channel mixer instead in the final PCB because I wanted to keep the footprint small. After finalizing my design, I sent my files over to PCBWay who also sponsored this video. They've been helping me out with my PCBs ever since I started this mini synth series. I print both the circuit itself and the panels in PCB material. Check out PCBWay.com to learn more about their services. After less than a week of waiting, the PCBs finally arrived. I, I, I realized I forgot to put the logo on the panel, but it's fine. Now let's talk about the build experience here. This was the first time I tried out interactive bombs. It's a way to present your bill of materials on a web page. It's really nice to have and it really helped with the build experience. You can highlight specific parts to find them on the board. It also works great on mobile. Making them on KiCad was easy. I used this KiCad plugin made by the OpenScope project. Once installed, all you need to do is go to Tools, External Plugins, and then Generate Interactive Bomb. Clicking on Generate Bomb produces a set of HTML files which I can then host on my website. This one was very easy to assemble. The SMT components were really far apart. I think the large footprints of the slide pots really allowed me to space out the SMT components. Having them a bit far apart made it a bit easier to assemble using a heat gun. I also designed the backboard to be a bit smaller than the front panel. I don't think you always have to do this but I had some trouble removing some of my older builds from a fully populated case so I think having it like this makes it easier. One big issue I had with this build was that I placed the slide pots the wrong way so if you'd like to increase the volume you'd have to move the slider down instead of up. It's, it's a bit annoying at first but you get used to it. I already fixed this for the next version. I also got the PCBs a couple of days before a gig. I kind of rushed the build so I can use it on my set so it was a bit scary but it worked great. Shout out to Cityside for inviting me to perform. I hope to see you guys again soon. That would be all for now. I will have links to all the files and my documentations in the description. Let me know if you built it and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of updates there too. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.